Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch, and this is the project we're making today. Okay, so let's get started. These are our supplies. They will be on your free PDF. This is the Enjoy the Journey Designer Series paper. So we're gonna be making this one. This is using the Dandy Designs, which is in the Celebration Catalog. I'm using a brand new stamp set called Irresistible Blooms. This will be available in March. So we're using this greeting right here, and we're gonna be embossing that. So we're using Versamark ink. We're gonna use the Embossing Buddy. You want to prepare your cardstock so that it's not all staticky. I should have already opened this, sorry about that. Okay, so I'm just gonna brush that on and then open this up. And then I'm just gonna ink it up and then stamp. I'm going to use my tray to add my white embossing powder. This is this is in the um, embossing and dish additions heat tool kit. We had a long period where we didn't offer these trays and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna take the heat tool. I will fast forward this. Isn't that a beautiful font? We're gonna cut this out using the seasonal labels die. So this is that pack of dies. So I've got my Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And I'm just gonna place this on here at an angle. You can see by using the heat tool that it kind of made my, kind of warped the paper. So you might have to glue or tape down your um, die, not glue, tape it. <laughs> if you glued it, it would be permanent, right? Okay, so here's our greeting. We'll set this aside now. Now we're gonna cut out the little flower. This is the Petal Park Punch. Uh, I suspect this thing will go on back order soon. Um, our punches typically do <laughs> go on back order pretty quickly. Now let's go ahead and make the box. Now you could use solid cardstock to make it sturdier. Okay, so we're gonna place this on the six inch side and we're going to score it at one inch, two and a half, three and a half, and five. We're gonna turn it on the six and a half inch side, and we're going to score it at a half an inch and one and a half on both sides. So just flip it over and half an inch and one and a half. You could use this side if you wanted to. This is the um, designer series paper chart for Enjoy the Journey paper. Yeah, you have lots of choices. I chose this paper because I, I chose the ribbon that I wanted to use. I love this open weave uh, ribbon and it is going to be retiring um, in a few months. So it is celebration time. You get free product when you order a minimum of $50. And you might want to make sure you stock up on your favorite in colors that are retiring. Okay, I have folded on all the score lines. Now I'm just going to burnish with my bone folder. Yeah, I'm going to be sad when these colors retire. I liked, I liked this, this set of colors. Okay, so now what I want you to do is place this on the six and a half inch side. Let me show you, okay? So this is the six and a half inch side. So this is how we're going to start cutting, okay? So I'm gonna start down here at the bottom of the trees and I'm gonna cut all the way to that second score line and then cut over. Okay, same thing on this side. There will be a box template that's free over on my blog. Okay, 
Okay, there's that. This is the top. So now for the next part, we're gonna cut to the score line. That would be the second score line, okay? We're gonna fold that center piece in and we're gonna cut on this score line and on this score line and then we're gonna trim or angle cut these edges or tabs. Yeah, on the PDF it'll say uh, angle cut, okay? I know some people say miter, but at the same time for me, it seems <laughs> miter applies to tools and it gets me confused. So I just like to say angle cut. Okay, so same thing on this side. You're just repeating what you did on the previous side. So cut this piece off and then angle cut. Save these because you can cut your flowers out um, using paper instead of um, cardstock if you want to, okay? So I'm saving those. Now I'm gonna use a one inch circle punch. This has retired. You can use any circle punch, any die. I'm just notching this out so that that shows where to open the box without destroying it, okay? So I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to add adhesive to those four tabs. Today I'm gonna to be using my Stampin' Seal Plus and that's why I'm using my silicone craft sheet. It This thing glides better when you use the silicone craft sheet. So if you've had trouble with this, try, try it on the silicone craft sheet. I think you'll find you'll like it. And doing this, using this, is a little bit quicker than tear and tape. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is fold this bottom in and attach it to this piece right here. And then the same thing on this side, just like that. And then this is gonna fold in like that. And this is gonna fold in like that. Now you might want to angle cut these pieces. You don't have to, but you might want to. And so this is gonna go in like this. It is a snug fit. So that's why I like trimming these just a smidge. Okay, both sides. And it's still gonna be a snug fit, but you want it to be snug so that it doesn't continue to pop open, okay? so. That's how it looks. Now let me show you what's in here. In this one we have four of the Mercy chocolates. So it holds four. They're in there upside down. And then in the other one we have uh, the Sunny Seeds. So this is a one ounce container of the Sunny Seeds. They are chocolate covered sunflower seeds. They're very addictive, let me just warn you. you you'll eat that whole container in like lickety split. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and finish decorating this. I'm gonna attach this to the top just with my Stampin' Seal Plus, and this time I'm using the regular one, not Stampin' Seal Plus, Stampin' Seal. And I'm just gonna add it right up here to the top, placing it in the middle. And then for the flower, we're gonna kinda scrunch that up and I'm gonna use a mini glue dot to add it right there. Then our ribbon, we're going to tie a bow. I love this ribbon. I have bought a bunch of it because I do really like it. Same thing, we're gonna add this with a mini glue dot, except I kinda wanna make it a little bit, the bow a little bit smaller. Yeah. Trim that again, whoops. A mini glue dot. Whoops. Careful getting those mini glue dots, you can untie your bow. <laughs> Not the best bow, but still. Okay, so now for our embellishment, 
I used uh, two different ones, of course. So for this one, I used the Opaque Adhesive Back Gems. And for this one, I used the In Color Opal Rounds, which these will be retiring since these colors are going to be retiring. So make sure you stock up on these as well. I love these colors because I'm, I'm a fan of softer colors. I think the brights are probably the most popular colors, but I love subtles. Okay, so there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.